Hello, this is Robert McDonald. Please like, share, and subscribe. You can find me on Gab, X, Telegram, as well as alternative video platforms. Thank you. So I've been working on a project when I don't have a good idea on a particular week. I am converting over my old videos that I recorded using my camera function on my, my phone. And so I just have this video of whatever random thing is on a desk or wherever I prop my phone up to audio only to make them more accessible. And I was debating about this one called Facing My Own Denial that I recorded July 12th, 2021. And while I've grown a lot and I'm in a much better place even than when I'm describing it there, the reflections in this audio is worth listening to us for those who have been are in addiction, as well as many who are dealing with a variety of issues and struggles. I think, you know, like health, family relationships, etc. There is going to be beneficial. So without further ado, here is facing my own denial. Today, I have a rather personal talk about topic to talk about um as i face my own denial my wife loves to talk about growing old together uh which i do like but she enjoys pointing out the little things that point to the growing old part and this annoys the crap out of me well i don't think it's unreasonable to snip a gray, straight gray hair out of your beard. I realized I have taken this way too far in the fact that I have to really think about what my actual age is because I've been in such denial of growing old, not in the sense of macho-ness that I think I can do more than I can, but a denial of markers of the passage of time. And the reason I struggle with this is because I feel like that I have not done enough in my life. And uh, primarily because of the loss of, from addiction. And I think most addicts can understand and relate. And I hope you understand that this is a common thing for us because there is a a high price we pay for that time. And it's not just time, it's money, it's resources. Uh, and I have several things. I think many of you relate to it. The relationship, time and development I lost with my wife and the pain that I caused her, the same kind of relationship, time and development I lost with her family and my family to the point that my mother died without having healed the relationship between her and I. Um, the loss of job and career opportunities and that I stayed in dead end jobs for about 14 years before finally doing something more than just paying bills. The possible loss of having children because of not being the husband that she needed to support her to become healthy and the stress that I caused her, the pain, which is actually backed by the numbers that wives of sex addicts suffer significant health issues. And some of the ones that she suffers are very typical. Um, the loss and strain of friends and relatives and um, these are just kind of the highlights, and I think many of you would relate to this. And that's hard because that's over. And while there's parts of this that can be healed, that time is gone. I can't have it back. And I truly hang on to hope of uh, Joel 225. I will restore the years the locusts have eaten. I do hang on to that, but I don't know what restore will mean for me. I don't know 
how or when or what. I could be fairly sure it won't be a one for one because those years are gone. That time, those opportunities are gone. I don't know what the future will hold in that regards. And that's difficult because there is no fixing that. As um, Scott Tungay was recently talking about, there is no repenting of those physical earthly losses. They're gone. And that's true. I have repented. I am in recovery, working to be better. But I can't undo those things. It's gone. And that's a hard thing to bear. There's real grief in that. And that's that's normal and it's healthy. And it's just something you have to work on with your spouse, with your accountability partners, with people you look up to, with God. And I do have good things. I have a happy and healthier life and marriage. I have self-respect. I have the ability to do this podcast and help other men and work on a book I hope to finish and publish. And going through all that has brought me to a place that I can have those things. But it was a high, but it's a high price. If I could undo my addiction, I would. But I would not do it at the cost of these good things. And that is a difficult place to be at, that it is hard to rectify these conflicting feelings and facts. Yet this is who I am. And there I go by the grace of God. So I hope that helps you to know that whatever level of these things that you're at, you're not alone. I think every addict, regardless of his addiction, faces this loss in one degree or another. So I hope that helps. Please uh, leave a comment in the uh, leave a, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section, and I will reply. Have a good day.